Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I wanted to show you guys this simple everyday makeup look. Super pretty, super realistic. It looks good in person as well, which is something that's very important to me. So I'm using a lot of my favorites and I'm showing you guys how to get long wearing makeup. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So let's begin. I already did my brows because like I always say my brows are camera shy and every time I do them in person or not in person every time I do them like on camera they turn out so horrible so hopefully they look good today but I'm gonna go ahead and clip my little bangs out of the way so I'm gonna go ahead and do skincare I notice every time I do my skincare like and then I do my makeup it looks 10 times better and it even lasts a lot longer so definitely try that step even though I do sometimes forget try doing your skincare and then makeup and you guys will see how good your makeup is gonna look so a huge shout out to elf for working with me on today's video you guys know how much i love elf and i know how much you guys love elf so thank you for them for working with me on another video in case you guys do not know elf is cruelty free they are vegan and they have amazing products for really really affordable prices i love elf makeup and i love how they have makeup for everyone if you're extra if you're natural if you're in between you know there's something for you especially now with their skin Care. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the ELF CBD eye cream. I like this eye cream so far because it has a gel like finish and honestly if you have oily skin try going for something a little bit more gel like. So I'm going to apply this underneath the eyes and every time I do use an eye cream my concealer looks a lot better since there's actually like moisture and this has no fragrance at all and it feels so good and so cooling and then for moisturizer i also been enjoying this one the jelly pop the water gel moisturizer and as you guys can see it looks really moisturizing yet it dried very fast which that for me is very important especially in the summertime you guys i cannot be using super thick creams because my makeup will just melt away so i really enjoy this moisturizer because it feels moisturizing yet it does dry very fast i'm gonna go in with my primer i'm using the elf matte putty primer this is one of my favorite primers because it feels very lightweight again the key to my products they have to feel lightweight and less like thick and consistent if that makes any sense but i really like this because it does help make me matte and not only that it helps with my you know how you can apply primer and then set it with some um, setting powder this pretty much is that so I'm using the elf plus matte bloody mist this is like a setting spray with powder in it so you want to make sure you shake this very well even though I have my little buns I feel like they're gonna fall um, so I'm trying to like not move a lot so I'm just gonna spray my face it feels really refreshing and trust me when i tell you this is gonna make your makeup last a lot longer because we're kind of like soaking in all the oils you know yet we're moisturized we have eye cream we just have a good prep on the skin for foundation also you can go ahead and do all these steps if even if you're not going to be wearing makeup as you guys can see all these products don't really have a color so this is something you can go outside and it will stop your oils coming through especially this spray is something i'll recommend even if you're not wearing makeup you can apply it and you're good to go i think i'm going to use a combo of two foundations so of course for summer heart candy glamouflage full coverage foundation 16 hour wear amazing i'm in the shade honey so i'm just gonna go ahead and dot this all over my face then the next foundation I want to use is the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation. Now this one right here, I'm in the shade Olive, but this is a foundation that I have to mix with something because on its own, it's not oily skin friendly. In the winter time, it works amazing because my oils are less crazy. But if you're using this like in the summertime, make sure you mix it with something. But it's a really pretty... I would say medium coverage foundation and I'm going in with my e.l.f. sponge. This is $4 and it's amazing. So I'm just balancing my foundation and pressing it in on my skin. And it's also very important for me to apply um, moisturizer because I do have my rash right here. You guys, the rash, right? The rash story that I tell you guys almost in every single video. It is going away. I'm so excited. So for concealer today, I am using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer 
You guys, one of my favorite, favorite concealers ever. It is so good and hydrating, yet it still lasts a really long time, which I appreciate. So this is in the color medium beige. And if you guys have problems with lines or, you know, crease or anything like that, I recommend you apply some sort of eye cream and then use a hydrating concealer. And you guys will see such a huge difference. You guys see how pretty it looks? It just makes you look like you have your life together. That's how I explain every product that's hydrating and pretty. It just makes you look like you drink your water, you know? Life is good. That's what this concealer does for me. So I'm going to go ahead and set this. But a lot of people that do have drier skin don't need to set this concealer since it is so long wearing. For powder, I'm going to be using one of my favorite ones. I did a whole top 5 video so please go watch it if you're looking for setting powders for oily skin or for summer. So this one is the e.l.f. Matte Setting Powder. It is so good in the shade medium. Works perfect for me. So I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit. I also really like the packaging because it has this one that you can like switch around so you can close it and then open it. And I grab about that much. You really don't need a lot and you guys will see how mattifying and how pretty this powder is. So I'm just setting it and pressing it into the skin. This powder is blurring, long wearing, no flashback and it works amazing for every single day wear because it doesn't really change the color of the concealer it just sets it really really nicely and to set the rest of my face it's really important i do this step if not my foundation if i go like this it will just stay there um i'm using the mac studio fix powder in nc40 and i am going to mix it a little bit with the sephora micro smooth powder in the shade 35 i love these powders you guys they're one of my favorite ones i've been using the mac one for years at this point and then i'm gonna use just a little bit of the shade from sephora the reason i'm using a little bit of this is because this is a darker color and right now i'm not as tan so i'm just using this around i guess the outside parts and then the mac one more towards the cheeks and this is extra but i just wanted to show you guys the two powders that i really like if you're looking for you know some pressed powders i did end up buying this one you guys from beauty bakery i love 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 their foundation i did a whole video about it so i'll link it somewhere here on the screen so i am using the new beauty bakery nipolitan nipolitan i am the worst at pronouncing this i know exactly what it is it's that ice cream i am do i like that ice cream you know what i only like the chocolate and vanilla side of it i do not like the strawberry side I just don't like it but i'm gonna go in with the bronzer side of this palette so let me take an angle brush i'm taking this one from elf it's the pointed powder brush i really like it because it's pointy so you can really create like a cheekbone this is super pigmented so be super careful so i'm going in just like this probably twice or three times and then tap x's and then i'm gonna bronze up the cheeks yeah, this brush is perfect. Last time I used this product, I used it with an angle brush and that did not look good. So go in with a fluffier brush so you don't get as much pigment and you can really blend it into your cheeks. You guys see, look, one and that's enough. Like this is pigmented. So for blush, I'm not going to be using this palette because this is a little bit too pigmented for my natural you know makeup today so i'm going to be going with my ride or die blush this is kylie cosmetics baddie on the blog this will make you look like the baddie from the blog and i'm using the same brush i really like how fluffy it is and then i'm blending everything upwards with my elf blush brush i'm going in with this alamar cosmetics and woke shade it's like a yellow color and i like to put this underneath my eyes I don't know what this does but it does something to my face like it just makes it look so much better i don't know i really don't know how to explain it but it's really really good and a little bit goes a long way and this brush is perfect for that because it is so small yet it's so like tapered so i'm gonna do the eyes super quickly it is super fast you guys i'm taking this Too faced melted chocolate matte eyeshadow now these are really good because i love the shade range that they have i love my nudes so this is in the color chocolate bunny so i'm grabbing chocolate bunny and apply like one little dot maybe not that okay like that and then i'm just grabbing a fluffy brush so let me use this one 
And then I'm just gonna blend it out. This brush is part of the J. Kissa XL collection. Really, really good. Really been enjoying these brushes. So I'm just going in circular motions away from the face. And you guys see how easy and pretty that was? It's like eyeshadow in less than two seconds. So I start by tapping it in and then I go in circular motions. And these are super long wearing. It's super, super pretty. I really like this color. I'm using the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. Basically, I grab the side volume and I apply that first. And then I go in with the curled in length and I feel like that's what makes the biggest difference. So I wanted to show you how everything would look only with mascara on. Super simple, super realistic, and super pretty, right? It looks like really put together but really fast to do. But of course, you guys, my reality, my everyday makeup has eyelashes. So I'm going in with the KMYNX lashes. And these are in the style SA684. I'll go ahead and have them below for you guys. So I'm also going to go ahead and get my brow pencil. And I like to darken up my beauty marks. I just feel like it just makes them look a lot prettier since I did cover them up with foundation. So for brows today, this is my little brow combination. I use the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. And then I go in with the Glossier Brow Flick in the shade Brown. Ever since I saw Ambrisi talking about this I bought it and it's a game changer so I recommend you line your brows first with the brow pencil only if you have like my brow type and then go in with the brow flick so now to my favorite part lip combo this is a really pretty lip combo because it's not too nude like it's nude but it's not too like light nude in your face type of you know look that I love doing um, so I'm taking the KKW lip liner in nude 2 in nude um, 1.5 and I'm just gonna mix them together and overdraw my lips and then I'm going in with the HMV cosmetics obsessed liquid lipstick and this is a really pretty dark nude shade last but not least I'm taking a little bit more setting spray again I'm still using the elf plus matte make sure you really really shake this and then spray it all over your face so this is it this is the final look this is my everyday wearable natural realistic not natural but neutral that's the word um, makeup so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and also a huge shout out to elf for working with me on today's video i love elf you guys they're one of my favorite drugstore brands you get amazing products and quality without spending too much money which is something i believe in so huge shout out to elf and also a huge shout out to you guys for supporting my channel and you know always showing so much love so yeah that is it from me today thank you for watching have a beautiful blessed day and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys